Robert Vesco was a notorious American white collar criminal, a Wall Streeter who took off with $200 million worth of investors' money. With the SEC on his tail, he took sanctuary in countries like Cuba, where he managed to evade American authorities until his final breath. Well, our next guest's late father was actually the chief enforcement officer of the SEC, and he hunted Vesco for years. And now that relations between Cuba and the United States have thawed, Ed Butowski says it might be possible for the government to finish your father's work. Good morning, Ed. Good morning. Thanks. Uh, so let's start at the beginning. Sure. Robert Vesco is a I remember that guy from uh, the Nixon days where he gave $200,000 to Nixon's reelection committee to try to get hit, get the heat off him yes. through the SEC. It didn't work. Yeah, I mean, he used his money as a, a really a bargaining chip everywhere he went. But what happened, he was, you know, a lot of people watching today who are older remember Vesco as the Bernie Madoff of the 70s sure. and the 80s. Um, but what he really did is he, he stole $200 million, fled the country, and my father's job was to pursue him from a legal standpoint. So we went to the Bahamas, and when my father cut off the Bahamas, uh, Vesco went to Costa Rica, and then from there he went to Colombia, and eventually the only place that he could go with his money was Cuba, and that's where he went, and that's where he died. Okay, so uh, in all these countries you just detailed, he would get close to whoever was running the country, right. give him some money, that way if the United States came looking for him with extradition or something like that, uh, the president would go, oh, you cannot take my friend, Mr. Vesco. That's exactly what it was. This was a very smart, shrewd man. Man that used everything he could possibly use to find safe harbor. Okay, so he took off with $200 million. You compare him to Bernie Madoff. That's right. Just like that. Uh, you think there's a real good possibility that the money is still in Cuba, mm -hmm. but didn't he die in prison in Cuba? Yeah, he did. He, For he, what? Well, he, it was really interesting. What he did in Cuba is he made up a story, and he told Castro that he had developed the Fountain of Youth, a pill, and Castro got upset because he hadn't shared it with him earlier, put him in prison. But the key to all of this, you know, Steve, is that he used that money everywhere he went to gain entrance, right? Sure. That money most likely is in Cuba, and we, we right now are opening up, you know, relationships with them. Why isn't anyone talking about the money that, that Robert Vesco took to Cuba? You, you hear people in Cuba saying sure. the United States owes them money. Well, guess what? Let's stop. Let's get our money back first, because we could use that $200 million in this country. Absolutely. Well, it doesn't just belong to the United States. It belongs to actual investors who he built. Yeah, right. and those people, you know, they got ripped off just like Bernie Madoff ripped off people. But, you know, that's $200 million in 1971 terms. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that this money was invested, but let's just say it right. was. That'd be about a billion dollars today. Holy cow. Yeah. Now, Ed, I've, we've known you a long time. We've seen right. you on Fox Business. Uh, you're here on the Fox News Channel all the time as well. I didn't realize your dad was the top cop for the SEC. Yeah. He would go down to, when, when uh, Vesco was in the Bahamas, right. he would go on business trips and he would go down there and try to figure out where the money was, right? Yeah. He, he, would, he would, not only that, but as a family, we would travel there often. I actually met Vesco many times. You My, did? Oh, without question. He, he um, we've had dinners and so on because, he, one, he was a very likable man in terms of personality, but from a business standpoint and from a criminal standpoint, he was a horrible human being. But we would, you know, talk with him. My father was always going after him. But he would send my father birthday gifts. He sent my dad, <laughs> seriously, my father would get birthday gifts from him, you know, from somewhere else. And, you know, my dad would get a box and say, oh, yeah, this is what I got this year from uh, Robert Vesco. It was a kind of a cat and mouse game a little bit, but eventually my father cut off all the different places, went to Cuba. And, you know, my father passed away a while ago. But this story, I'm really happy you're allowing us to talk about it because it's really a nice way for me to honor him. Absolutely. Well, your dad tried to get the money back till the day That's he right. died. And now that uh, the relations with Cuba are thawing, maybe now the government will do something. I sure hope so. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you very much. What a story.